All right, so I re-enchanted uh, or enchanted a new diamond pickaxe. We got silk touch now. You can see I already went mining, got a ton of stone because our next project is an acacia starter house or rather a, a savannah starter house, but it's gonna be made primarily out of acacia. Also, I love silk touch. This would have been so much more inventory space had I not had it. Gotta be one of the best enchantments out there for sure but we're gonna go ahead and head over we've got an acacia biome over or savannah biome over that way i've fallen in with the sheep uh what we need most right now we've got glass we've got stone which is uh our pr primary blocks besides the acacia wood but we're gonna need a lot of acacia wood so we're gonna go ahead just start chopping down trees and i've already designed the house that we're gonna be building today uh, so we've got a light Matica file for that. We can just go ahead and throw it into this world and then we'll do a step-by-step -step process of how to put this whole house together. All right, so here is our schematic placement. This is what I've designed in a creative world. We'll go ahead and just go step-by-step -step through this build right now. Uh, but I just want to show you guys kind of what this look like. Uh, if you've never seen light Matica before, really useful mod for replicating builds. Uh, you have to place all the blocks still yourself, but you can at least see where all those blocks are going to go. But this build is mostly built out of acacia logs and wood. And then we're going to have some stone bricks and some smooth stone slabs on the inside to just add uh, some variety to the blocks and make everything look just a bit nicer. You can completely ignore that wall right there. That was a separate test house that I was building and I accidentally included it in the placement. Let's go ahead and start constructing this base right now. All right, so our first step here is we're gonna put these uh, acacia logs every five blocks apart. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, and then another pillar. These are gonna be the framework for our house. Now we're not gonna have one over on this side uh, right here. This will just be a long extended wall. We'll do some, some different windows on this side to make it look all okay. But we're gonna start off with this rectangle right here, and then we're gonna come out another five and then five across and have this right here. This is gonna be like a separate portion of the house. And then this will be like the main entrance right here. And we can go ahead and just start filling these in uh, with acacia wood in between each of these. And we can leave this space open right here. That'll be our door. Uh, we'll put a little stone stair there so we know that'll be our door. All right, so this first layer here is now done. Everything, like the windows, all that is gonna set on top of this. And we can go ahead and put in the floor, which will be uh, stone brick slabs here. You can of course do just stone brick blocks if you don't wanna waste time making slabs, but slabs save a lot of blocks. So I think it's definitely worth making the slabs in order to do this here. So just go ahead, fill this whole thing in, and this is definitely going to be uh, a much larger starter house than like the desert one we did in the last episode. But I kind of want to rotate through some different building types, some larger, smaller buildings, so that we have a good variety of builds that you guys can try out in your own worlds. I know a lot of people like doing some smaller houses, and a lot of people like doing some larger, uh, huge survival houses. So we're going to do just a whole bunch of both types. And I'll also show you guys an analysis at the end of the video uh, that gives you the full block list of exactly what you'll need for this build. We're gonna go ahead and get these pillars put up around the whole thing and then start filling in the rest of the acacia wood, the windows and things like that. You can see here, we've got all these pillars up for the most part. We gotta fix that one once I can get the angle on it here. All right. But we've also put in these windows. Now what I've done with the windows is I've left a one block acacia gap from each of the pillars. And then I've done these windows. This is going to give you a lot of the natural light. Also a three block gap on this side since we've got that extended one. This would be logs if we did it right here. But we're going to do on the second floor a set of three windows that will look fairly nice uh, with this extended wall. But then you can see we've got this triple windows around each side this is going to give you a lot of natural light inside the place especially if you're using anything like shaders and it also just breaks up the overall texture of the acacia and looks pretty nice so from here what we'll do is we'll keep building up get this first layer of the house complete and then we'll start working on the roof for that side and the second floor of this side 
What we'll also start working on as well is we're going to put a spiral staircase over in this corner to get up to the second floor. And we'll do that while we're doing this so that we have a way to get up on top of this while we're actually working and we don't need to keep pillaring up. All right, so that's the first layer of this house complete, or the first floor of this house complete. So we've got one, two, three, four, five capped off with that stone brick at the top. So it's going to be four acacia. Uh, with the windows in the middle, of course, and then that fifth one is going to be stone brick. It's especially going to help on something like that outside wall, where you're going to have mostly acacia without the logs right here. So that stone brick will help to break it up, and then we'll also have that laid out for when uh, we start doing these stairs and things around to make a roof for this place. So just to make the roof a little easier, what we're going to do next is lay the floor for this second floor. Uh, so we'll just go up here. What we're going to use for this is smooth stone slabs. They look fairly nice mixed in with the stone and the acacia. So we'll go ahead and use that for the second floor so that we won't double up with the stone bricks there and there, which may look just a little odd. So we'll go ahead and do that just across the second floor. We're going to do bottom slabs for this. Not only are mobs not going to spawn and we'll be able to hang stuff off the bottom of the... Uh, house here or the bottom of the first floor here like lanterns things like that and if we want to include anything like beds or chests up here we can just add another slab or some shelves things like that which will uh, add some fun details on the inside and look pretty nice but unfortunately we ran out of stone slab just before the center so we'll have to smell a little bit more stone but we can go ahead and start on the roof while all that's happening i'll just do 32 there and now we can go ahead and start on the roof. So for the roof, what we're gonna do is a mixture of stone brick stairs and acacia stairs. Stone brick to outline the acacia stairs, uh, which will just make it look like they've got some structural support to them and not just a flat redwood roof. You can see now what I was meaning with the outline of the stone brick with the acacia. So the roof right there is starting to come together. Got to go ahead and make some more stairs, slabs, things like that, and we'll keep working on getting this up. Uh, this on top of here, what we're going to do is just have a small balcony. So we'll put some acacia fences around between those logs like right there, and then we'll be able to just walk out, enjoy the view from that balcony there. And down here, we'll put in some added details, grow some trees. And on the back, what we're going to do is uh, just kind of build this up and kind of terraform the, the land to it so that we're not just hanging off the back here. But the build was a little too big for the hill that I chose here. All right, so right here, we've got the main structure of the house complete. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to go through, add some details, things like that to make this just look a little nicer. So one small thing we can do is just add in, we'll do it on this one, add in some trap doors over one section of the logs here. And we'll probably have to make some more to just that one. But you can see we're just adding these trap doors, adds in just a bit of texture that otherwise wasn't there. And since the trap doors are on top of the logs it pops out just a little bit further than the rest of the house uh, which makes it just have uh, a little bit more depth to the entire build uh, so we'll go ahead we'll use up these trap doors here I'll make some more so we can finish this off and then we'll start adding in some other details and work on the interior a little bit all right, so we've gone ahead and we've thrown in a bunch of details here. I'm really liking the look of it now. We've added a lot of lanterns, uh, some shrubbery flowers, some plants. We've added some hay bales, some uh, sugar cane growing over there. We've got more planted on this side over here. And so you can have a small farm going with just those little things. And then inside here, we place a dirt block right next to the door. We've added a small furnace room over here. I've done a little shelving system with trap doors. Instead of the barrels, I'd love to put like a potion stand or something here, but I don't have any extras right now, so I'm not gonna do that. But you could put a potion stand there. You could even in this corner put a small enchantment room if you really wanted. And then up the stairs, we've done a small storage room in here. 
some barrels along the wall, some chests, lanterns placed about a bed to sleep in, lanterns up there. You could also put some more barrels, storage, things like that up there, even some uh, tools, some tool tables, things like that. Now on the balcony, of course, is just the lanterns that were there already. This is our completed Savannah starter home. I actually am really happy with the look of this. I really like all the details, things we did on the outside. And what's great about this base is it's right next to a village that I'm planning to use a lot throughout this uh, series. This is actually fairly close to our base. You can see that's our nether portal right there out on the island. Our base is just on the other side of that hill. There's a bit of a river to cross as well, but we'll actually use this base quite a lot to uh, stage all of this stuff that we've got going on here. I've got villagers trapped in here so we can start working on farms, things like that, so that we can build lots and lots of fun things. And even since we built a house in this area, we might as well go ahead and just start transforming some of the other villager houses, maybe turn this area into something really cool. But that's about gonna do it for this episode today. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to drop a like on it. And if you enjoyed this house, let me know down in the comment section below. Let me know what you think of this starter house, any changes that you'd make to it, any improvements, anything that you got. Let me know down in the comment section below. But anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. Check out the rest of the content on the channel. We've got a lot of other fun things, and I'll see you next time.